welcome back to my channel. I'm Wendy and this is Lonnie, the director, filmmaker, editor, and all things video extraordinaire. And we are back with Pasión, of course, our visual album. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Tango Etude. This is the part <coughs> where the character is heartbroken, she's been betrayed and lied to, and she's just absolutely devastated. And Honestly, this is based on real life experience. I don't know how many times I've been devastated in the past because of a dude. <laughs> but anyways, so, um, I feel like this is an experience that many people can relate to when you just feel betrayed and just really sad and breaking up. And we chose the location of Brooklyn Bridge because, um, I don't know, well, first of all, I have a personal connection to that bridge. Like something similar like that sort of happened on that bridge or shortly after. Um, so that that is my own personal experience with it or connection to it. Um, in terms of the piece, let me tell you a little bit about Tango A2 by Pia Sola. This was originally for solo flute, but I decided to transcribe it for cello solo. Very appropriate. This is the only piece in the entire album where it's just solo cello. There's no accompaniment, no piano accompaniment. So it really conveys that feeling of sadness, of uh, destitute. Um, it's very quiet. It's very quiet. Very quiet, very low. Very deep, very, very deep. So I love that piece. I wanted to record it. Um, tell us a little bit more about your experience filming that. Well, honestly, it was kind of funny because the way that we filmed it, we filmed in Dumbo in downtown Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> there were so many tourists that day when I, we were filming, filming the cello part. Yeah. And I'll never forget that th this is my story. It was so <laughs> funny. I was filming Wendy, and, and she's getting really into it, right? This, this, this lady almost freaking cried, like, three times for this piece. Because, yeah. you know, it's very emotional. Very emotional. And she's sitting there, she's all like, huh, you know, like, crying. And this lady comes with this big-ass flash. <laughs> like, a big flash and a big camera. And I just was, I was filming her and getting, like, a close-up. And I just whipped my head, and I was just like... <laughs> and I'll, I'll never forget. I was like, do not. And I just mouthed it. And she was just like. <laughs> <laughs> she scared people away. I did. I was like, <laughs> like, get out of here. <laughs> Actually, this was a challenging one to shoot in terms of the cello so part. loud. Because there were all these tourists. Yeah. Dumbo. When you, this is the part where you can see the entire Manhattan skyline. So this is a very popular tourist spot, obviously. Yes. Right next to Barge Music. And we were just sitting there, and it was so loud. The piece is soft. Now you have to understand, when I try, to, what I'm trying to do is I'm not lip syncing. I'm bow or cello syncing. So it's a pre-existing yeah. recording that I pre-recorded, and somebody has to, well, somebody meaning Lani has to put it right next to my ear so that I can hear. It. And this piece is quiet, and there's all this noise. People were like seeing, of course, me the cellas with the red dress so everybody's curious so everybody's coming around making a lot of noise i couldn't hear anything so it was really really yeah. hard to line up my bow with the actual music and also to create that moment of destitute but i also think that's what makes it so powerful because new york is known to be noisy there's a lot going on but to hear this kind of quiet destitute like <coughs> desolate kind of piece of music uh, in this noisy environment it really creates that contrast because yeah. it really shows how the character is very lonely uh, even though there are all these people around all these things happening yeah I agree um, and it's kind of funny because the, the only time that you do hear any like city sounds is like right at the end and it's just it's very it's heartbroken uh, yeah it's it's very like sad because I think that that piece is like very, very very calming, very quiet. And then as you said with the New York, and it was very funny because like when you're when we were filming the cello piece, you could see people, like kind of coming in and out, because everybody wanted to get close to the cellist, and it was like oh my god we just have to like get close and take pictures and flash <laughs> mm -hmm. and so you can see her just not even paying attention she just looks really sad so it, i just i don't know yeah i just really try to get into the character i just just yeah. shut out all the noise and just try to line up with the pre-existing track 
I just really wanted to convey that feeling of just devastation that you feel after something happens to a relationship and someone betrays you and that's a horrible feeling which I hope I never will experience again but you know <laughs> let's just pretend this is a, it this, never happened <laughs> yeah, this is life this is life so really I'm telling you the story of how it feels like basically it feels like crap feels like crap feels like crap Thank you so much for joining us, and until the next video, be sure to subscribe, leave us a comment. If you have any other questions, we'll try to answer. We'll see you soon. Bye! Bye-bye!